Welcome to Catholic Views. I'm your host, Renee Kranz. Today on the show, we will have Monsignor Charles Mangan here to tell us about his call to the priesthood. Uh, always a good conversation with Monsignor Mangan. He um, left the diocese just recently, so we wanted to get this uh, on the air for you before he's gone too long. We could never forget him anyway. But, That's right. And, and Still priest of the diocese. Just to absolutely. Be- <laughs> he's just been borrowed. He's been lent out yes, for a short time. Yes, we loaned him. Yes, that's right. And he will be back. But it's a really good story, and uh, he's just always lovely to talk to. So first we have Dr. Bergwald here with us. Now, last week, Renee, you sang I the did. jingle. But now I don't remember how it goes. Yeah, See, we that's we fine. literally recorded that like five minutes ago. That's true. Oh, you, I don't remember. Just, just oh. to give away there. Oh. The veil has been lifted. Oh, the the fourth wall <laughs> broken. Pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. <laughs> the man behind the, is Bill. <laughs> so, yes. Yeah, so we just recorded. So, Renee, what Sunday is it I know today? it's the 18th <laughs> Sunday in Ordinary Time. I still don't know what gospel it is, but I'm going to guess John. Oh, please. You're going to guess. Is it Mark this time? No, it's John. Okay. You know that. <laughs> don't act. You didn't tell me. Okay. Were you, yeah, he did. He did. Were you not oh, paying see, attention? I, no, for... I told you I have no memory. That's true. That's really bad. Yes. Hi, Renee. You're gonna have to call me ten second Tom. So, so yes, <laughs> we are in the 18th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Uh, yeah, we we talked. So for the listeners who maybe weren't listening last week, unlike my partner in crime here, apparently also was it. Or, so if you didn't hear last week's uh, year B is uh, the year it's, uh, in which we normally hear from Mark's gospel, mm-hmm. but because Mark is the shortest, this is a time. So late summer, um, the teens in terms of ordinary time, uh, 18th Sunday in ordinary time this week. It's when we start to hear from John six um, in particular. So it's the sixth chapter of John's gospel, which is again about the bread of life discourse. Yes. It's my favorite. So begins with the, uh, the miracle of the loaves and fishes, which we heard from last Sunday and goes on. But what I want to talk about this week, because we're sort of, we're not yet to the point where Jesus starts telling people that they have to eat him to have eternal life. We're right. not there yet. Right. Um, <clears throat> at the end of the gospel, Jesus is talking about um, the bread that uh, Moses had given the people. Uh, mm-hmm. My father gives you the true bread from heaven for the bread of God. The bread of God is that which comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. They said to him, serve us the, this bread always. Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never hunger and whoever believes in me will never thirst. So he's starting to move towards talking mm-hmm. about the Eucharist, but not there yet. So what I want to actually talk about. So <clears throat> do you remember where the first reading is from today, Renee? Uh, yeah, cheater. Well, Ephesians? That's the second. That's Ephesians? The second. Oh, sorry, the first reading. Mm. Mm. No. Bill? Bill? It's about Moses, I can tell you that. Oh, it's probably something about You did about look that. at it. So wow. It's, so it's Exodus then. Yes, it is from Exodus. Could be Numbers, Leviticus, or Deuteronomy. True. But it, it but is But it's got to be something about the manna in the desert. Boom. Ding, 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 okay. ding. Well done. So, <laughs> yeah, it's about the, the, the Israelites complaining, would that we had died at the Lord's hand in the land of Egypt as we sat by our flesh pots. This is the tone they used when they were talking. <laughs> uh, and ate our fill of bread. But you had to lead us into this desert to make the whole community die of famine. Then the Lord said to Moses, I will now rain down bread from heaven for you. Each day the people are to go out and gather the daily portion. Da, 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 da. So the manna, mm-hmm. and the word manna comes from the Hebrew word for what is it? Because like what it they right. saw it like <laughs> manna. What is it? Um, the psalm is Psalm seventy eight, and the refrain is the, what we say um, or what is sung by the cantor. The Lord gave them bread from heaven, and one of the verses from Psalm seventy eight. Man ate the bread of angels, food he sent them in abundance, and he brought them to his holy land, to the mountain his right hand had won. And before that, he commanded the skies above and opened the doors of heaven. He rained manna upon them for food and gave them heavenly bread. So, uh, and then, yeah, the second reading is from Ephesians. But the reason I wanted to go back, look at the gospel, but then go back to the first reading uh, in the psalm is because what we see here is the continuity in God's plan from old mm-hmm. to new. Mm-hmm. So everything, the, the saying, St. Augustine um, uh, said this saying, because <laughs> that's what you do with sayings. Right. You, you, you say, say them. them. Um, the Old Testament, the, the New Testament is hidden in the old and the old is revealed, revealed in the new. Mm-hmm. So when you, and, and I talked about this um, in in the apologetics column, there's a question about the the biblical nature of Catholic teaching, Mm -hmm. uh, about how you see this beautiful unfolding of the plan that's there in the old 
reaching its culmination in the new. Mm -hmm. So what conversely, what that means, so the new is hidden in the old, everything that Jesus, much of what Jesus said, we actually find anticipated, foretold, Mm -hmm. prophesied in the old. So the, the, the Eucharist, the, the miracles in general that we read about last week, heard about last week, the Eucharist, you all see it sort of foreshadowed, foreshadowed in the Old Testament. So um, the Exodus account, the man in the desert, the psalm talking about the manna is all it, it, those things are things that happened, but they themselves, the events that we read in the Old Testament, so many of them point towards things that Jesus would do to come. Right. Are you is there. A, you look like you. No. Okay. Nope. So, so what I, why am I highlight? So what we're seeing and, and, and so the church beautifully shows us this. She doesn't high, like, there's no, nothing our priest said. The priest didn't say the lector didn't say now the common theme this week is the Eucharist, but simply if you're paying attention, you see these themes repeated. Yeah. I'm excited to get to the rest of the bread of life discourse. Thanks Dr. B. You bet. <laughs>